but let's start with a bit of a quiz question here. Which country does this flag belong to? I'll give you a little bit of time. Well, yeah, it's obviously Andorra. Yes, you know, the small little country that's located right in the Pyrenees Mountains, right in between Franz land and Spain land, known for its beautiful little ski resorts and tax freeness, practically a shopping heaven. I mean, take a look at this city right here, which is the Andorra city. Very beautiful. Yes, Andorra, a country whose economy could thrive through tourism or does thrive to tourism. But well, this tourism sector has a big problem here. I mean, this because this country is incredibly landlocked. In fact, it's known as one of the most landlocked countries around the world. Why? Well, it's hard to get here. The only way to get here is via car or by bus, by road, because this entire country does not have a train station nor a plane station. Yes, in the flight simulator, the country of Andorra isn't very well represented. I mean, we can see one airport that you'd have to go to in order to fly to Andorra, and that is La Seur de Urgel Airport. Very small one. It used to have more actual passenger service, but this is a relatively small runway that we've also visited on the channel that cannot really host any big airplanes. La Seur d'Urgel, which is in Spain, not in Andorra at all, which is a bit of a pain in the ass. Not a very viable option for people who want to visit Andorra. Yes, the government really is facing a bit of an issue. Well, how do we get tourists to go here? How do we get tourists to fly here? Well, they tried to solve this issue, building the airport d'Andorra. Andorra presents the project for its airport next to the Grauroig ski slope. Yes, obviously what is making it hard for building an airport here is that it's a very small country with a lot of mountains, very hard topography. You can't really build an airport in anywhere here because these valleys are so small. So in 2021, the government of Andorra was like, okay, we have this valley called Grau Roik here. Perhaps it could be possible to build an airport here. And yes, they genuinely proposed the airport the Grau Roik. Here is a video from the Chamber of Commerce, uh, commercial stuff. It's only got 121 subscribers, which is a bit of a shame. Here you go, they posted this trailer in like 2021. Pretty epic here. We have a little bit of a helicopter uh, video here. We're just supposed to show the approach into the airport. Now, for some reason in this trailer that included parts of the Microsoft Flight Simulator, you can clearly tell this is A320 from Microsoft Flight Simulator. This is actually from the government. And here's a bit of like a the wing of an A320 added in. And here's the approach into the genuine valley. And now here it switches to like a satellite Google Maps kind of view approaching to the proposed Airport. Mm -hmm. Oh, check out that beautiful animation of this A320. So realistic. And here is the 1800 meter long runway 14 of the proposed Grauroig Airport, which is supposed to save the economy of Andorra. You have a rendered 3D building we just saw. Oh, yes. Beautiful. And then it for some reason switches to Microsoft Flight Simulator footage of an existing airport with pretty weird bit. Like, why is that plane now taxied there? Airport. Dandora. Oh, wow, that is so beautiful with some jets. Thank you, government. Wow, good. Airport Dandora. Now, this was proposed in March 2021. And while we have this very concept of the Andorra Airport added into the flight simulator, thanks to this beautiful add on made by the user of. Um, where's the user? Uh, Mr. O, which adds in what could have been Indora's Grauroig Airport, a 1,800 meter, 6,000 foot long runway that would be big enough to accommodate 737. That's when we spawn into it. Now, why did I say could have been? Well, this airport very quickly turned out to be a bit of a bad idea. After asking the ICAO about whether this airport would even be possible, they said no. And so they scrapped the idea in December of 2021, only a few months after the proposal was made. Now, this is all in uh, Catalese here. Here's a translation here. Yes, it turns out that the ICAO and the Andorran Aeronautical Authority, which there is, yes, there is a Federal Aviation Administration for Andorra, which probably is for, for helicopters. They all were of the opinion that in the face of an unexpected incident, the pilot does not have time to abort the landing and takeoff again, which would involve in a collision with the mountain. Yes, this airport. Oh, shut up. This airport turned out to be not realistic because of the lack of ability to abort a landing, which kind of makes sense. I mean, take a look at the end of runway 32. There's no way we're going to be able to go around here. Shut up with all your friend requests. <sighs> yes, I mean, genuinely, um, 
I mean, it was to be expected that this would be a stupid idea. Let's maybe take off from this runway, which is, you know, plenty long enough. That is for sure. Yes, there we go. Taking off with 737, a plane that should be able to take off here with this, without any issues. I mean, in the Alps, we have airports that accommodate planes like this that are way smaller than this. For example, the Samaden airport we visited a while ago. There we go. We are able to take off just fine from this runway. I don't think this is the actual issue, the runway size itself. The valley of Grau Roik would be long enough to accommodate a proper runway. Uh, although this might have been very close to failure. Yes, check this out here. Although it is true. Yeah, you really wouldn't want to... You really wouldn't want to go around here, um... Uh, yes, you know what? In fact, let me go and test this airport. Let me try to land here at Andorra's airport. Perhaps with the Ryanair 737. There we go. Terrain, terrain. Pull up. Yeah, that is not really an alert that you'd want to hear while approaching when you're actually doing real life operations. I mean, we're in a Microsoft flight simulator. No one cares if we crash. But there's no way that this airport will be safe in real life. Also, I guess those power lines would have to be turned down, <laughs> torn apart. Okay, let me go ahead and land now. There we go. That's been a Ryan or landing. Not really good. But what I want to test out is the safety standards of this airport. So what I'm doing now is trying to go around aboard that landing. Something that has to be possible. Uh, oh my god. Help! Help! Okay, there's a lot of trees and we've crashed into a mountain and I think this is exactly what the Ikeo me meant by saying, well, well, there's no way we're ever going to be able to operate any airliners here. This is not safe enough at all. I guess technically though, you'd be able to operate way bigger planes of this airport. I mean, the runway could accommodate it. Well, now I just know that the Ikeo is now crying in someone's corner. So this is the airport of Andorra building here, which was also announced in the trailer. I think the... Uh, uh, developer of the scenery did a pretty good job at making this. Let me go ahead and try to fly out of here with a 7-4. And I think this will be possible. I mean, of course, the population of Andorra was obviously quite pissed at this move. I read an article with people saying that, oh, well, you know, the Alps have so many smaller airports. Why don't we just build a smaller airport and then maybe ac accommodate smaller airplanes that could actually be able to safely fly out of here, even with a go around in mind. And I think the simple explanation of that is that there only is an economic advantage when you actually have big planes flying here with planes that can actually take some tourists. It wouldn't really make much sense to be flying Cessnas in here because the money you'd have to spend on building an airport wouldn't really be paid back through small planes. You need big passenger airliners to fly here and they simply can't fly here. All right, now, let me go ahead and fly here genuinely with her 737. I have now tuned the autopilot so it flies down to our airport because the developer of the add-on here, of course, managed to include an eyeless approach. Obviously, this would be important for creating an airport that would actually be somewhat usable. We do need ILS, right? Yeah, uh, something like that. There we go. This is uh, somewhat working. There we go. On our 747. Let me go and disconnect the autopilot. I mean, this will be quite cool. I mean, the mountains are not incredibly tall here, so you would perfectly be able to pretty much approach straight in here. I mean, if this mountain weren't to be here, if this valley was just a little longer, this wouldn't be an issue at all. They would have already built an airport. By the way, let's maybe try to land once again. Something that shouldn't be an issue at all. Although that was a very hard landing. People are crying. But, oh no! We need to go around! Go for power, please! A lot of power we do need in order to actually survive here. And this is once again the big issue. Obviously, they didn't even plan on using the 747. It makes a bit sense. But still, check out this go-around maneuver. And well, there's a lot of trouble involved in not being able to go around at an airport. There's, uh, I mean, maybe Lucla can do it. But at this point, they're just going to take your car anyway, right? Even though, you know, I do have to say, the go-around just worked perfectly fine. No worries at all. All right, you know what? Let's actually try to make a successful landing now here down at Adora Airport. Once again, I let's approach. I'm going to try to do this properly, just like airliners would. There we go. So, everybody, what is the moral of the story? Don't found a country where you can't build an airport. And uh, I think that's good. All right, there you go. Come on, stop it now. Ha! <laughs> I mean, you can fly anything here. It's just not safe, right? So, everybody, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. As always, good night. And a special thanks goes out to my members, my supporters, Guns Killer, R27, James Duram, That Dude, Anime Gods of Gaming, Derek, Insider Plane, Nishijitsu Finder, Professional Jamal, Ryland Williams, and New the York. You've got beautiful names.